Alright, that was our scene on Listeria, where we saw this pregnant lady who had strong pregnancy cravings for her ice cream walking towards her house, where this purple bacteria guy tried scaring her and was so despondent when he failed to get her attention that he shed a tear. And it fell on this list over here. Listeria for Listeria. So again, this scene is about Listeria. Let's talk about it. So again, from the purple creature over here, we see that Listeria is gram positive, and that's why it stains purple in gram staining due to its thick peptidoglycan wall. And of course, we see from the shape of this guy that he's a rod. As Listeria is a rod, it's a bacillus. Now, as for the lady, we'll talk about why she's pregnant in a moment, but we see that she's walking towards her house. Listeria wants to be inside, but not all the time. It's a facultative intracellular pathogen, which is a high yield fact regarding Listeria. She was walking towards her house to eat ice cream, a dairy product, as Listeria is acquired by ingestion of unpasteurized dairy products. And this could even include ice creams, but also meats, certain meats. And that's why in our scene, there was meat right next to the ice cream. As for why she was pregnant, Listeria can exhibit a transplacental transmission, and the baby can get sick via amnionitis. There could also be septicemia or spontaneous abortion. A condition associated with listeria is granulomatosis infectiseptica. And actually, babies are particularly susceptible to the meningitis of listeria because they don't have a fully developed cell-mediated immunity. This is also why immunocompromised patients and older patients are susceptible to listeria infection. And patients can present with meningitis, and that's why outside this little cottage over here, we see the brain on fire. This is probably to provide warmth, for those who live in this cottage, but for our purposes, the burning brain reminds us of meningitis. Now it's true that listeria also can cause a mild self-limited gastroenteritis, particularly in healthy individuals, but this is not commonly tested on. And the fact that this scene takes place in the winter, a strange time for a woman to be craving ice cream, is because listeria grows well at refrigeration temperatures, and that's when it exhibits the characteristic tumbling motility which is why we saw the rocket tumbling off the roof. As for why it was specifically a rocket, that's because Listeria forms rocket tails via actin polymerization, and this allows the intracellular movement and cell-to-cell -cell spread. This allows Listeria to avoid antibody. So how do we treat Listeria? That brings us to our last point, this AMP that was very silly. AMP that was silly for ampicillin. Ampicillin is used to treat Listeria infection. Now, to sum up all of these points, we had the poem on the wall of the cottage. You could take a look at this poem, but basically it highlights points that we mentioned. That listeria is a facultative intracellular pathogen, that it exhibits tumbling motility and broth, that it's via cell-mediated immunity, that we protect ourselves against listeria, which is why kids, older adults, and the immunocompromised are susceptible to listeria infection because of an undeveloped or a defective cell-mediated immunity. Alright, I hope you enjoy this scene on Listeria. Take care.